Beyond Israel's sprawling Golan Heights and northeastern border weaves a strip of territory known as No Man's Land. This is the disengagement zone between Israel and Syria created in 1974 after the Yom Kippur War. This land belt, ranging from 200 meters to 10 kilometers in width, became a buffer between the two nations and the ceasefire lines that were to be closely monitored by the UN. On the Israeli side, Syrian war relics still abound. An old Syrian army barrack and the ghost of a once bustling Syrian hospital are now silent bystanders of the current Syrian war being waged not many meters away. The Syria-Israel no man's land also serves as the unlikely gateway through which injured Syrians find much needed, even life-saving medical help. Although the two nations are officially at war, the IDF regularly treats injured Syrians, both civilians and soldiers, often risking their own safety to do so. I don't care what are the relationship between Israel and Syria. I am a paramedic and I, my job is to take care of people and to help them. And I will take care of the Syrian as much as I take care of the soldiers in Israel. And uh, it doesn't matter what's the situation between Israel and Syria. Noga Eras, a 20-year-old paramedic based 15 kilometers from the Syrian border, recently received the President's Award for Excellence for her outstanding service in the IDF. I have a helmet, I have a jacket, uh, I have my gun. Yeah, my gun with me all the time. I'm a soldier, I'm a in IDF. I'm a kind of a warrior, and we're uh, taking care on the board, and it's really dangerous. We need to protect ourselves. In February of 2013, as the need continued to escalate, the IDF built a field hospital close to the Syrian border for the sole purpose of treating wounded Syrians. To date, this medical facility has treated well over 1,000 Syrians, the identities of which remain confidential so as not to jeopardize their safety when they return home to Syria. The work here is a living illustration of the medical corps oath, I will always be my brother's keeper. Clearly a stark contrast to the killing fields in Syria, only hundreds of meters away. And like Noga Eras, whose life is in danger every time she goes to rescue an injured Syrian, the IDF and civilian staff at the field hospital work within harm's way. I think that every time we go to the board and uh, take care, we are in some danger, but I never really felt in danger or uh, someone will kill me or hurt me. The work is dangerous. It's on the board. It's, uh, we, they are not our really best friends, so it's dangerous, but it doesn't matter. Marnie Blom, Axe News Network, Israel-Syrian border. Acts News Network. From Jerusalem the to the nation. This morning, Hamas fired a rocket the that news. hit the school. What's North really important? It's now 80% of the council's inflamed. resolutions are against Israel. Visit Acts News Network. Accessible, informative, inspiring. Future peace negotiations. You know, Jerusalem is so central to the Jewish people. Celebrating life. Preparing for war. Axe News Network. Online with the Times.